Good morning class 5. I am Anil Bhagat, your science teacher from Modern International School, Hiswa. Welcome back to our e-learning program. Today, in this video lecture, we will discuss about some questions of chapter 3 that is bones and muscles. In the previous lectures, we had already discussed a lot of questions from this chapter and the whole chapter we had already discussed. I don't think that you have any problem in the chapter topics but still if you have any problem ask me I will help you so class let's discuss the question answer so today we have two questions and the pattern of this question is we have to differentiate between these terms so the first is movable and immovable joints we discussed in the chapter about joints that when two bones come together and at the place at a place this place is called joint or the uh, connection of two bones the place of connection of two bones is called joint so here we have to differentiate between movable and immovable joints so first of all movable joints so what are the features of movable joint the first thing is this movable joints help you to move freely free movement they will provide you the second feature is the bones are covered with a tissue the bones are covered with a tissue that is called cartilage and this cartilage will protect the bone from rubbing with each other and the examples of such type of movable joints are we discussed that this neck joint or pivot joint shoulder joint or ball and socket joint knee joint sorry elbow joint and knee joint also that is hinge joint and then comes the wrist and ankle joint that is called gliding joint in ball and socket joint that is shoulder joint and our hip joint is ball and socket joint so these are the some features of movable joints now let's discuss about immovable joints the best example of immovable joints is our skull means bones are fixed in the skull and these bones have a very less space between them which protect them or which act like a cushion to absorb the socks our fixed bones get so skull is the best example of immovable joints and these bones are properly fixed in a way that it will not allow any type of movement only a little space is between them only the lower part of the skull is movable from one place to another sorry i mean it is a little bit move it can move the next is cardiac muscles and skeletal muscle so let's discuss about cardiac muscles so we all know we already discussed that cardiac muscles is present in our heart cardiac muscle is present in our heart and since the birth or you can say before the birth this cardiac muscles start working and work continuously for the whole life of the organism so this is the best example of cardiac muscle and the way it functions and the function of cardiac muscle is involuntary the function of cardiac muscle is involuntary involuntary means it will work on its own you cannot control the movement of these muscles it will continue its movement by its own it will not listen to your will the next type of muscles is skeletal muscle so as the name suggests these muscles lie between skin and bone these muscles lie between skin and bone and these muscles are voluntary muscles voluntary muscles means we can control the movement of these muscles or you can say these muscles move at our will when we want it will move so just try to imagine or just try to think what type of functions or what type of activity we do on our will like eating running walking talking so this type of movements we perform 
at our will. So these muscles are involved in such type of movements. I hope you are all able to understand the differentiation between movable and immovable joint, cardiac and skeletal muscles. Any problem, ask me. I will definitely help you class. Have a great day. Be safe at home. Thank you.